Hey, what's up guys? If you're currently playing Cyberpunk, then you need to watch this video because a lot of the perk points you are investing into your character might be going to waste. Even with the recent big patch, known as patch 1.1, and the subsequent hotfix that came out today, there's still a lot broken in the game. And there are currently 35 perks and skills at the moment of recording this video of course just completely not working yeah you heard it right 35 and in this video we'll go through these uh, 35 perks and skills and see if these perks that do not work are yeah even useful or powerful perks in the first place or if they're just useless either way and the list of perks that do not work was composed by a guy named iCheeks credits go to him he has published a spreadsheet with all his findings i'll put that spreadsheet in the description for if you're interested into the additional details and extra it's a really interesting spreadsheet and also a lot of other people worked on this spreadsheet by the way as you can see here so this was definitely truly investigated and yeah let's just jump right into it and review the perks per skill trees and here we go so guys let's just get right into it and when we go to the character tab we'll start off with athletics so when you go to athletics there are actually only two perks here that do not work the first one is the gladiator perk which reduces the amount of stamina uh, that you consume when you block a melee attack now me personally i never block in this game because yeah you can just dodge most of the time or just kill them before they even get the opportunity to attack you uh, with hands unless you're doing the beat on the brad missions of course and you want to block but also in those missions i did not use the block but just rather dodged most of the time so this one seems like a pretty trivial perk to uh, not have working, but it does not work, in fact, at this moment. The other perk in this tree that doesn't work is the hard motherfucker perk. This is actually a pretty big perk because it's the ultimate perk of this tree. You unlock this one when you get uh, level 20 athletics, so max level. So the hard motherfucker perk basically just gives you a lot of resistances, which makes you a unkillable tank if you... Uh, invest a lot of points into it but it doesn't work apparently if you save the game and then reload your game uh, with that save instance for some reason it disables this perk so you can actually get it to work but it's only in the first save instance where you actually learn the perk so obviously most people will reload their saves for one reason or another so yeah it's pretty unfortunate but this perk does not work in fact so to conclude athletics there are only two perks currently not working so I would argue that this skill tree is one of the better ones in terms of having functional perks. Then if we go to Annihilation, for those who like shotguns and light machine guns, this tree actually has more non-functional perks and we'll go over them now as well. So the first perk that does not work in this tree is the Pump It Louder perk, which reduces the recoil of shotguns and light machine guns by a fixed amount. You can invest two perk points into this. This can be pretty handy because yeah, recoil can kind of impact the number of times you actually hit your targets. So yeah, the fact that this does not work is uh, pretty unfortunate. And then we go to this perk, the Mongoose perk, which increases your evasion by 25% while reloading. And apparently all evasion perks do not work at this moment in the game. So yeah, that means that this perk will also not work, which is also unfortunate because evasion can also be pretty handy. Then we have the bite lead perk which also does not work in fact several people have claimed that this work does not yeah that nothing happens whether you have this perk or not the spread keeps the same which is yeah pretty unfortunate because shotguns tend to have a big spread as you know especially when you're moving a lot and the fact that it also costs only one perk points makes this actually a pretty good perk if you want your weapons to not increase their spread when when you move a lot so another perk that does not work then we have popping off this is a perk that increases the chance of dismembering enemies 25 percent per perk point this perk also does not work then we have the hit the deck perk another perk that doesn't work it increases damage to staggered and knockdown enemies by 10 percent but essentially if you put points into this perk and you try it out on staggered and knockdowns enemies nothing really happens you do not gain the increase in damage meaning we have another perk here that is non-functional so as you can see, the Annihilation uh, skill tree is pretty affected by perks that do not work. Then we have Bloodbath, the ultimate perk in this tree. This perk also does not work, unfortunately. This is a pretty good perk as dismembering enemies reduces weapon recoil by 50% for 6 seconds. So that's actually a pretty giant buff, but this one is also not working at this moment. Then we also have the Heavy Lead uh, perk in the Annihilation uh, tab. This perk makes it so that your shotguns and light machine guns knock back enemies with more force. 
apparently this one might not be working but they are not 100 percent sure if it's not working or if it's just not visible this is maybe one of those perks that we uh, that requires more investigation before we can make a uh, conclusive statement so let's go on to street brawler so when we go to street brawler we have juggernaut that doesn't work at this moment this is a uh, increase in armor when you block with a blunt weapon it increases your armor by 50 percent or 30 percent and it does not work this can be pretty handy in the early game but at the late game and overall you will get plenty of armor eventually that you're pretty much unkillable so if you evaluate this perk overall over the entire game it's not that that huge of a miss i think and then we have the guerrilla perk that is the ultimate perk in this tree which is also not working so we can probably see a trend here with ultimate perks so i'm guessing this is going to apply to any ultimate perk but we'll see when we go uh, further down the list of perks not working but yeah this is also a pretty good perk as you can see increases crit damage by 60 percent for 10 seconds after entering combat so if this perk actually worked then yeah you would see huge numbers of damage uh, appearing on your screen probably for 10 seconds each time after you enter combat and a two percent increase per perk level but again it does not work so yeah and then you also have this perk, the reinfigurate perk that does not work. Defeating an enemy by performing a strong attack with a blunt weapon restores 10% stamina. So with melee builds using blunt weapons that uh, yeah, focus around using your stamina, of course, this might be pretty useful, but it does not work. Okay, now let's go to reflexes. When you go to reflexes, uh, we have the assault tab. So in this tab, you have the bunker perk that is not working, which increases your armor and resistance by 15% when you're shooting with rifles and submachine guns from behind cover. Obviously, when you're behind cover, you will probably not be that easy targetable by the enemies so it might not be the best perk in the game but it does not work at this moment in time it's also only just one perk point so if you already invested the point into this it's probably not the end of the world then we go to recoil wrangler unfortunately this is a pretty good perk as it reduces recoil and reduction in recoil makes it just easier to hit your enemies a 10 percent uh recoil decrease with this perk but it does not work and let's go to the next one and you guessed it so and punisher is the ultimate perk in this tree that also does not work unfortunately which is also a pretty good perk as defeating an enemy with a rifle or a submachine gun will make your weapon sway nullified and weapon spread also does not increase for 10 seconds so yeah then let's go over to handguns so then handguns for our pistols and revolvers fans so first of all the vanishing point perk does not work evasion increases by 25 percent as i said before uh, all evasion perks in the game do not work so vanishing point will not work either then we have attritional fire which is a pretty good uh, perk because firing consecutive shots with a pistol or revolver at the same target will increase your damage by 10 percent so this is pretty easy achievable when you have a pistol or revolver because yeah you guess you can just shoot pretty rapidly most of the time but yeah the perk does not work then we have snowball effect which is a pretty good perk as it can stack up to five times and it increases your fire rate for pistols and revolvers by five percent for six seconds and as i said it stacks up to five times that means you will be able to shoot with a 25 percent increase in fire rate which is yeah pretty significant in my opinion but it does not work. And then finally, we also have obviously the ultimate perk in this tree that also does not work. The good, the bad, and the ugly. After successful crit hit with a pistol or revolver, damage and armor increase increases by 30% for 5 seconds. Which is actually a pretty fun perk if you think about it. But like all ultimate perks so far, it doesn't work, unfortunate. That's it. So let's go over to Blades. So Blades is actually one of my favorite build types in this game, um, as you can see. And I have, um, for those who like Blades as, as well, I have some good news because not a lot of perks in this tab are non-functional. So most of them just work. Except for, of course, the ultimate perk that also does not work in this case. Increases crit damage with Blades by 25% yeah does not work unfortunate and apparently the bloodlust perk that you can see here does not always work uh when you apply bleeding and actually only heals you on the first hit so yeah this is maybe a partially not working perk um that you can watch out for i still took it because i found when i used this that my healing is pretty significant but apparently it's not working all the time so yeah that's the bloodlust perk 
and then we have shifting sands and apparently this is also a partially not working perk so apparently with this perk you can only use this like once every uh, three dodges in a row because there is apparently a hidden cooldown when you use uh yeah when you dodge you cannot recover stamina every time when you are continuously dodging and so the hidden cooldown is approximately of a length of two dodges between every dodge that you will in fact recover stamina so yeah the uh, blades uh, tab is in fact as you can see pretty good there's only one perk that uh yeah completely does not work which is the ultimate perk but then you have two perks that partially work partially don't work and uh, yeah you have to be a bit careful with those but to be honest i think you'll manage then let's go over to technical ability and in technical ability you obviously have crafting and engineering so in crafting this is pretty fun because sapper doesn't work which is your increase in damage uh, for grenades perk it does not work yeah i can't say much about it your grenades will not deal extra damage when you take uh, perk points into this so for all the grenade enthusiasts that took this perk, yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate. Maybe in a few patches it will work again. Then we have 200% efficiency. This does not work. It still does not work, unfortunately. Um, so if you're crafting your clothes, you will not gain 5% more armor. It's as simple as that. Then we have the ultimate perk, crazy science. This perk also does not work. It increases the sale price of crafted items by 10%. I personally think this this perk is not that significant because making money in this game is really easy and yeah especially if you use like the painting uh, glitch or whatever and 10% isn't that much if you think about it but it doesn't work like all ultimate perks surprise surprise now field technician it increases the damage of your crafted weapons by 5% but apparently this perk does not work on melee weapons so if you want to use it only use it for ranged weapons or yeah non melee weapons basically and the same thing for the cutting edge uh, perk this is also a perk that increases damage by of crafted weapons basically but this also doesn't work for melee weapons then we go over to engineering and you guessed it let's just start right off with it revamp does not work the ultimate perk does not work which means, yeah, your increase in damage from tech weapons by 25% will not work. Increases charge damage from all chargeable weapons and cyberware by 10% also won't work. And like I said earlier, all these all these ultimate perks are basically not working because every time you reload your safe instance, they just, for some reason, it disables the utility of these perks. Then let's go over to the normal perks that don't work in this tree. So first of all, the mech looter perk does not work. When looting drones, max and robots, there is a 25% chance of looting a weapon, mod or attachment. It does not work. Then we have shrapnel, which will make your grenade um, deal 20 damage in addition to their normal effects. And it's only one perk point as well, but yeah, it does not work, unfortunately. 20 damage also, yeah, not that, not that significant. So this perk is probably not that, uh, that important either way. And the same thing applies to the bigger booms perk. Grenades deal 5% more damage. I don't think so. The funny thing about this perk is that it actually has 5 perk points. <laughs> so if you invested all your perk points into this. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. You guessed it. It's bye bye to your perk points. Because it does not work at this moment. Maybe in the future. So if not and you want your 5 perk points back. Then just go buy the Tabula Rasa thingy from the Ripper and get those perk points back but yeah this is probably one of the biggest perks in the game that does not actually work in terms of how many points you have to invest for it to get uh, to get its maximal effect and then we have the play the angels which can also be pretty fun if he uh, if he purchase it because it's only one perk point and it's also quite good because ricochets deal an additional 50 percent damage and yeah if you play the game in such a way that your bullets or your grenades or whatever uh, ricochet then you can pretty much get huge numbers of damage uh, from this perk but at this point in time it does not work it does not work the next perk that does not work is superconductor tech weapons ignore armor nope it does not work so as you can see this tab is probably one of the most affected tabs in the entire game a lot of perks are not working in the engineering tab so for those who have uh, gone full on engineering yeah probably need to uh to find another tab to invest your points in for the time being unless you just avoid all these perks that i just mentioned that's obviously also a very valid choice so next up let's go to intelligence for those who watch my videos they know i like the netrunner build so there's only one perk in this entire tree that does not work in breach protocol 
So for all Netrunners among us, good news. But, 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 but. So now the question is to you, if you're still viewing, if you're still listening and did not fall asleep, which perk does not work in this tree? You get five seconds to guess. Did you guess it? Yeah, it's the ultimate perk. The transmigration perk increases the breach time of breach protocol by 50%. Nope, it does not. Not working. Okay, let's go to quick hacking. So the funny thing about the quick hacking tab is that there is actually a, a perk that is overworking, which is called Daisy Chain. I actually talked already about this in my Netrunner video in the uh, comment section, but Daisy Chain is overworking in the sense that you only have to invest one point into this perk to get a decrease of 90% basically. So it says that it will reduce the existing cooldowns for all other active quick hacks by 10% when you eliminate a target affected by a quick hack. It does not reduce the existing cooldowns by the number it states, but rather it reduces the existing cooldowns to the number it states. So yeah, 10% meaning you will have a 90% decrease. And you only want to put one point into this perk um, because the more points you invest into the perk, the, the bigger the number will become in the description, meaning yeah, you will have a smaller decrease so in that sense this perk is actually really broken but all other perks are actually just working in this tab so yeah daisy chain is overworking and the massive ram liberator in this case the ultimate perk is only working partially so apparently it does not increase your ram recovery rate by 50 percent but then the second line of this perk will in fact work so if you invest additional perk points you will get that one percent increase in ram recovery rate per perk level so yeah, it's really weird. So for the quick hacking tab, it seems like most perks are actually just functional and working well. For the netrunners among us, good news, you did not waste your perk points. You might have even got more than what you wanted by uh, investing points into a perk like Daisy Chain, which is heavily overworking at the moment. And yeah, obviously you have the ultimate perk, which is not working 100%, but at least uh, there is some functionality in this perk still. You also still have the Anamnesis perk. So if you want to check that out, just check out the spreadsheet I put in the description and you will have a full explanation of what this perk actually does instead of what it says that it does. So yeah, guys, that's the quick hacking tab. So let's go over to cool where you have a lot of stealth uh, perks, obviously. The good news is that even though this, this tab has a lot of perks, most of them actually work. So a perk that does not work is the rattlesnake perk. Enemies affected by poison are slowed nope they are not slowed so if you are playing with poison don't purchase this perk it does not work and then you have ninjutsu which also does not work so this perk makes it so that your crouch attacks uh, from stealth with melee weapons deal way more damage and guarantee a crit hit uh, if it actually would have worked but it does not work so nothing happens and then you have obviously the ultimate perk that does not work as well. Toxicology increases the duration of poison applied to enemies by 5 seconds. Unfortunately it does not work, it does nothing. Then we go to cold blood and in cold blood icy veins does not work. It reduces the weapon recoil by 2.5% per stack of cold blood. And then we have the ultimate perk merciless which also does not work. Yeah, it increases your crit chance and your crit damage. It's a pretty good perk actually if you think about it, but it unfortunately does not work at this moment in time. And that also wraps up this video. As you can see, a lot of perks are currently not working. Um, yeah, up to 35. There are also even more perks that are just only partially working that I did not even cover. You can check those out in the spreadsheet. It seems like the intelligence tab is the least affected of all tabs. It's pretty much 100% uh, working and even includes a, a few perks that are yeah overworking like i uh, said but then you go to the body reflexes and technical ability uh, skill trees and you see that a lot of uh, perks do not work in these uh, in these skill trees unfortunately at this moment in time um so yeah that's something to consider so i hope you enjoyed this video that the best moment to watch this video in my opinion will be before right before you start a new playthrough or when you're building your character so yeah i hope you enjoyed and if you like this video then please subscribe leave a like leave a comment what you think about all these perks that are not working so yeah guys that was it i will see you guys next time and uh, yeah see ya